even as deputy president, take it upon yourself to pour scorn on a nation, on African nation. Wengine hawa tutafunza diplomasia. They have no idea. Yani unaweza ukachukua ugozi, ukaleta shida na vita kwa nji yako. Uwezi kusema wa kongolizi wanavalia surwali hapa tumbo. Eh, umesema ni, unatukana nji nzimu. Kasa wanavalia surwali hapa kwa, kwa tumbo. <laughs> Sani kwa kwama kutukana. Unatukana jameni. Na ni kiongozi. Hata kama wanaenda kusema pole mara ishirini. Zangini lazima viongozi wa pime maneno yao. Ukiwa that level, dio president wa amerikani anabeba funguo. Una, ukiweka rais wa amerikani kichwambaya, atachoma inji. Kosa kuna funguo ile inaitwa nuclear weapons. Akifungulia nuclear weapons, wacha korera, wacha corona. Tunakufa zote. <laughs> Unataka kunifanya mimi kama ningeungana na rais na, na kibaki ama raila, vile wa Kenya walikuwa kisema, pengine inji inge kuwa na shida. Nikasema basi in 2013, Dugu yangu Raila tuende kazi. Si tulienda. Tulipita tena hatukupita. Tukashinda tena hatukushinda. Si mnajua? Nikae tukaenda kwa mahakama. Maraga hakuwa chief justice wa Katule, alikuwa Wili Mutunga. Mkamba kutoka Kitui. Uamuzi waliotoa majaji wa mahakama kuu Hata sasa hakuna mtu anawezo kusoma. Haujulikani walisema nini? Walitua in three minutes. 2017, tukarudi pale pale. Kika ngangana, haya, tukashinda. Tena, hatu kushinda. <laughs> tukarudi kwa mahakama. Safari hii ndugu yangu, classmate yangu, maraga. Tulikuwa pamoja kwa chuo kiku, ya University of Nairobi, Tukaenda all the way Kenya School of Law. Mimi kaenda kwa siyasa mapema. Sasa Chief Justice. Lakini mina amini kama mwanasheria. We have the good legal system. Maraga huyo. Aka ngangana. Wakatoa wamuzi. Ukatoa, fu, ukatoa sipa African zima. Yani mahakama. Ikiongoza na mwaja wao. Wainji yao. Chief Justice Maraga. Akasema wa, uhu uchaguzi wa rais au kuwa au kufikia kiwango ambacho tungesema ni free and fair kikaumana he. maraga kapata sifa yake amestafu na heshima yake nikuwa lisi kweli maraga ni wetu si wetu heshima ni kitu ya maana zaidi sasa ndugu huru na ndugu raila mimi nikio kongambo na mama mgonjwa naangalia tuvrudio chaguzi Mimi likuwa napiga simu, musiende kwa hiyo kupiga kura. Muna ku, hiyo kura ya marudiano, mimi na Raila, tukagomea. Niliutubia mekutano kwa simu, nikiwa ngamu. Vota turnout, 18%. Nduguru akaona hapa, kuna shida. Akatafuta Raila. Mimi niporudi, kama yama, you ever the talk or you talk? Yani kama kuna mtu amejaribu kushikanisha inji yake. Nuyu korera wenu. Simu nipigia makofu. Eh, yani I remember telling Raila and Uru, you either discuss or you will discuss. Bas, handshake. Mimi nikafurai kwa roo yangu. At least there's peace. Ah, muna kumbuka mimi marambili. Tumeshinda, tena tukushinda. Hii ni siyasa inagani. Safari tunataka tushinde round moja ndunia nzima yujue tumeshinda. Wangapi watakubali hiyo? Kwa hivyo tutazungumza wazi. Wengine ambao hawana experience ya mazungumzo wanafanya miujiza. Miujiza. Umeona katuni mechorwa. <laughs> Mama moja anavuruta mimi mguu. <laughs> Anapeleka mimi azimio. By force by fire. <laughs> mimi ni mtu wa kuvuruta na miguu. Hey. So we want them to relax. This country will be safe because we have leaders who are selfless and we shall discuss as equal partners. Na hapa ni wambieni mtoto wenu moja hapa ambaya nashikilia sarikali vilivyo. Ni mutaje jene yake? Anaetua Fred Matiangi. Mpigieni makofi. 
Hata wakati mmoja nilikuwa nikidhani Raila na Uhuru walikuwa na mpango <laughs> waachie matiangi. Nilikuwa naona hivyo. Eh, lakini sasa kazi wamempa kazi ngumu. Anajaribu waziri wa interior. Mimi nilienda sana kumshauri huyu Felix Felix, Felix Shisikani. Akaniambia Mheshimiwa Vice President tusaidie hapa. Rais Kabila anasema nikichoa ukichukua wizara ya ya afya ya ya, ya fedha siwezi nikachukua wizara ya interior. Interior ni wenye mabunduki, unajua? Eh, hey, machivu haya hata kuna mama moja mama hapa waajabu amekuwa Paramount Chief Senior Chief Jen Mwenja. Wangapi mnamjua? Eh Jen Mwenja. Amekuwa promoted matiangi. Oh, hiyo timu yote ya mabunduki interior. Na hiyo ndio inch. Sasa Shisikedi anauliza, "Hebu nishauri. Kabila anasema nikichukua fedha, siwezi nikachukua eh interior. Nikichukua interior, siwezi nikachukua waziri wa fedha." Nataka mjue where we are because you are leaders. You are supposed to know. Usio wengine ukiolela, "Eh, zungumza, kuruka juu chini." They don't know how serious these things are. Nikamshauri Rais Felix chukua interior. This is a government. Na kazua waziri wa fedha wewe ndio unampa appointment letter atakusaidia. Wewe unaweza kumuita wakati wowote. So, mtu kama huyo ni mtu wa kuvurutwa mguu. Aambie ingia azimio. <laughs> Kwa hivyo ndugu zangu, that is where we are. I'm talking at length. Siwezi kuongea hiyo tunaenda daraja mbili tuwasalimie watu. Lakini nyinyi viongozi. Mimi safari hii na waomba. Na waomba sana. Muniangalie na macho mawili. Lakini umejaribu kwa afadhali wipe ilichukua ile ya Ben Momanyi. ODM hako chukua mjumbe hata moja. Kinahubiri hawa kaingia na vyao na wengine. Safari hii vile naona tuingie One Kenya Alliance kupitia Wipa bila kushurutishwa bila kujali chochote atakupata zaidi kwa sababu leo umemmsikiliza korera yako Fikiria yatakafakari sana eh hey, yale mmekuambieni hapa siwaambia wa Kenya So this is it and therefore tukitoka hapa tutarudi tena na huyu mwingine anaitwa Echate kijana echate jumua ubiri chukua vijana jumua ubiri chukua vijana tembeeni oh, everywhere you are going to turn around kisi in real time because they are gifted yule ame, alikuwa anasomesha hata university kinyata university hata mimi nikaenda nikaomba huyu uhuru nikaje ni mpinzani akanipa director shi moja nikampeleka Kenya Meat Commission <laughs> i know him If you want a true leader watu wa Kisi Andrew Maubi will not disappoint. Uh, he will not disappoint. Naambia ukweli wa mambo. Yule chata amenishangaza sana yule mtoto yule. Amenishangaza. Hata jina ni nzuri, Echate. Mungu akubariki sana. I didn't know you are complete orphan at 15 years. And you know the Bible teaches about. We were prayed for. You know what the Bible teaches about orphans? and widows Mungu mwenyewe ndiye anawalinda Huyo mtoto ataenda mbali Ataenda mbali sana Kwa hivyo tembea na kifua ukijua you have my full blessings as one of the national leaders Kuna mtu alikuja juzi akasema by the way Kalonzo nyinyi you know there are two senior leaders akusema hata my friend Uhuru who is a president Sema there are two national leaders fi senior Kenya hii mmoja ni Raila mwingine ni Kalonzo akasema akasema nyinyi wawili hakuna mmoja anaweza kuwa rais bila mwingine <laughs> unaona hiyo sasa nimwambie Raila aachie Kalonzo basi eh hey, muone vile inji itanyoroka si ni kweli ya mbila mapendeleo eh hey, that was his own advisor advisor ya Raila he came and looked for me and that's what he told me so mimi sina chochote sina roho ambayo inazingatia atichuki i also did one thing i told egesha when i was vice president i looked for kisi service commander ndugu huko ogo ah osugo 
Dugo Sugu alisimamia Mangereza because since independence and this is why Ben Momanya anaongea na hasira. Eh, hey, lazima wengine pia wapate nafasi ya kufanya inchi wafanyie inchi yao. Osugo ni kamfanya Commissioner General of Prisons. Wengine after him wali, wali wamechaguliwa wakapeleka kule wakaachilia au shabab. Osugo with the experience in Directorate of Criminal Investigation. You should be very proud that wakishi wengine wamekuwa very very committed to the service of this country. I can mean name very many cases. Lakini sasa waambieni wote Korea na Nakalonzo wamewaambia hakuna mukishi, hakuna Kalonzo. Nyinyi sasa ingieni laini hiyo ya Kalonzo muone kama tutapona. Anamjua Mungu atatuponesha. Inchi itaponya. Itakuwa a very proud nation.